Hi, John here. In this video, we're going to be looking at a four stroke diesel engine. We're going to run through all of the main parts and then I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Now, if you're interested in a four stroke gasoline or petrol fired engine, that's no problem. The working principle is pretty much the same as for the diesel fired engine. So before we go too far into explaining exactly how the four stroke engine works, let's have a look at some of the individual components. As you can see, we have a piston. That is this section here. And the piston connects to a connecting rod. And the connecting rod connects to a crankshaft. That is this weird up and down shaped item here that stretches from the right side all the way along to the left side. The piston itself travels linearly up and down within the combustion space. That is this cylinder. You can see on the edge here, that is one side of the combustion space. And here is the other side of the combustion space. So the piston will travel up and down. And every time it travels down once, we refer to that as a stroke. And every time it travels up once, we will refer to that also as a stroke. Although the piston itself is traveling up and down, the crankshaft rotates. So we're converting the up and down motion from the piston into rotary motion. Because of this, every down motion of the piston and every up motion of the piston translates to one revolution that is one full rotation of the crankshaft. So one stroke down, one stroke up is one revolution of the crankshaft. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Let's just have a look at some of the other key components that we need to see in order to understand how this four stroke diesel engine works. If we go up to the top, we can see we've got a series of valves. We have two valves, one here and one here. Can actually see them a little bit better if we look from underneath. Here is one valve, here is another valve, and in the background we can also see one here and one here. These valves are used to allow air into the combustion chamber and also to allow exhaust gas out of the combustion chamber. And in the middle between these valves is a tiny small sticky out bit this nozzle here, this is actually the end of a fuel injector. We call this the spray nozzle. And we're going to spray fuel out of the tip of the injector, which is this section here. If I go up, we can actually see the injector. I'll try and find a better angle. That is the injector, and it connects to the center of the cylinder, goes through the center of the cylinder, and will inject fuel into the combustion space. If we come around the side, we can actually see the fuel connection. So the fuel comes in through this pipe and will connect to the fuel injector, as we see here. And the fuel is then injected into the combustion space. So that is our fuel injector, and those are our valves. Let's now have a look at exactly how this four-stroke diesel engine works. Now there are four strokes per combustion cycle. That means in order to fully end a combustion cycle, the piston is going to need to move down once, up once, down once, up once. That's four strokes. And each of those strokes has a purpose. Let's have a look at stroke one. We can see we've got a slight blue color here in this space. The blue represents air. I'll push play. The piston is moving down, and you can see that these two valves have opened. We're now drawing air into the combustion space. Now this air may come from a turbocharger, or it may just be atmospheric where we draw air in. But as the piston moves down, it's creating a slight vacuum, and it is drawing the air into this space. We want to completely fill the combustion chamber with air, because air contains oxygen. There are three things we need for combustion. That is heat, oxygen, and fuel. So as we draw the air in, we're obtaining oxygen. 
If you want to learn more about the four-stroke diesel engine, then check out some of our online video courses. We've actually got a four-hour introduction to diesel engines video course. And in this video course, you can access all of the 3D models seen in this video as well, and also take quizzes, which will help you solidify what you have learned. If you like this video, then be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also like or share the video on social media. It really does help us out. Thanks very much for your time.